Came back at the end. Yeah, we're wrapping up. Uh, we're wrapping up. Body uh, or chapter six. I think we got Shiverburn Mountain. Is that what it's called? <laughs> Shiver or it's uh, it's Shiverburn this City is. It's probably called like Shiver Mountain. I think it's called Shiver Mountain. I think it's Shiverburn City and Shiver Mountain, maybe? I don't remember. Mayor's in Peach Castle and he says he's mayor of Shiverburn City. And I remember for a fact. Uh. Okay. <laughs> so the big, the big question is, do I go in with Watt or do I go in with Lackluster? I think I might take Lackluster for this one. So you can use the person who's coming to To use Cloud9, because Cloud9 is a really good thing that Lackluster has. Which boss is your favorite from each game? Hmm. Huh? Which boss from each game is that's not tough, because I really, I actually surprisingly enjoy the Hufflepuff fight. The Black Cluster's the thing with Spike. Yeah. 16 HP. Am I not surprised? Then again, Bowser has 99 HP with the power of invincibility. Yeah, he has, he's maxed out. Then again, there's only one other character in the entire game that has 99, 99 HP. Is that the third round of the Master in the dojo? Yep. Paper 
Mario. Not a lot, but I know it. <laughs> Cloud 9 is pretty much the 4 turns to power Mario up to deal a buttload of damage and top and up. Well, it's not, it's more of defense. Okay, defense no. to power up Mario for the 4 turns. Basically. Okay, I should have enough to power bounce next turn. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Well, Oh, freaking! Why didn't you come in a little later, man? Like, seriously. Mm. That was completely useless. Alright, Hufflepuff. Let's power bounce you. Hey, an actual useful one. Lovely. Lovely, that's a Uh, what about the rest of the Paper Mario's? Uh... I like Sport mentioned... from Thousand Year Door. Uh... I was gonna say, you mentioned Sport from TTYD. Ooh. Okay, but Paper Mario has a lot of bosses. The main story of all. Don't you fight every every minion and count black once in chapter eight alone? Yeah. The dimension who you fight twice. Yeah. You fight every every one because you you fight him with certain with certain characters. Fight. Amy with Peach, Dementio with Luigi, and Ochunks with Bowser, I believe? Yes. Only fight Dementio with Luigi because it segues into the Super Dementio boss fight. But more of seeing Bowser with Dementio and uh, Luigi with uh, Ochunks. Oh, this could not be set up even any sweeter. I per set up for an insta kill. Oh, absolutely. Uh, okay, oh, because it's finding flip and four more power bounce. Well, it, that is if spiny flip will do more damage on it. Oh, it does. It does even more. Okay. Yep. Oh. Wait, I have string delay, duh. So, um... Oh. Oh well. Yeah. Okay, uh... Actually, that means string ends in the next one. Plus, we're gonna set up for chapter 7. Well, I... I think there's a few more- well, there is a few more things I do want to take care of before Chapter 7. Like, Including before going- Including the Peach intermission that we have no choice. Is it this one Peach gets taken from her room, or is it Chapter 7 intermission? I think it's Chapter s it after Chapter 7. Okay. Well, every chapter technically has an intermission. Yeah, but this is the last one you get to control. The best one's definitely the quiz show one between 5 and 6. End of chapter! No, um, I say every chapter has an intermission. Because Prologue had an intermission, you just couldn't control Peach. It was introducing Twink and Bowser revealing he's willing to grant any wish he wants from Peach. I think the real reason about to mention is if he likes the wishes, but he knew Peach would wish for peace in the Mushroom Kingdom. <laughs> yeah.
the episode all gonna be 20 minutes? I'm reading back over chat. What is this peach intermission even about? Uh... You're basically have, trying to fig like figure out... Or you're trying to like sneak around the castle as different characters. Or different people. There's one small thing I'm not looking for. What's that? I don't know. What's up, guy? Everyone's, every mountain in Ace Palace are very people heavy, right? The what? Echo 7's puzzle heavy, mate. Yeah, I mean, uh. The Ice Palace is. Is like one of the. Definitely one of the bigger. Puzzle heavy dungeons. And then there's the puzzle to get everything to open the snowman. To equip the snowman to get up to Ice Palace. Yeah. Is it Ice Palace or Crystal Palace? It might be the Crystal Palace, actually. Because it's the Crystal. It's it's the Ice King, though. It's the, the Crystal King. It's probably Crystal Palace, then. Oh, there's an Ultra Shroom in, in his, this area, and I can't get it right now. By the way, there's only one real reason these people... ...that allow you- that open the doors of the Peach's castle. Yeah. Like the other ones, their only purpose is to be able to tell Mario where chapters, um, is to tell where the, uh, star spirits are. By the way, Bowser has horrible minions. That Spike saw Peach and just let her wander. It's actually not Spike, his name's Clubba. Yeah, they're clubbers in this game. It's a toad in there. <laughs> right? Yeah. How did that toad escape Bowser? Uh -huh. Who knows? The chest and talk. Like, oh no, never no, mind. No, that was a stupid question. But you got the last stand badge a couple of intermissions ago, so why did you not put that in then? No, I got. I got the Power Rush badge. I just got the last stand badge. Okay. Power Rush badge was a few intermissions ago, but we already I already put those in. Or put that in there. I just never went and got it. Don't goof off either. Okay. <laughs> that that window's gonna have to give Mario nightmares whenever he sees it. Because it'll remind him of the one time he lost the bout. So why didn't you just wish seven rough puzzles up at Star Rock from the Star Speed? Mm. That could have easily stopped Mario, right? Probably. But you know, Nintendo logic. Looks like tell her to tell them to take the speech back. Yeah. It's like.
would have made more sense as the final Star Spirit than as the first one, just because he survives the seven. That just me. Okay, so we got the long winding stairway to heaven. After chapter seven. <laughs> yeah. Aren't there enemies on it too? Yeah. Ooh, have you fought that um giant Koopa blocking the way to the east yet? No, I haven't fought Kenzie Koopa. I was actually gonna go do that now. You could have done it after chapter 5, but you didn't. Yeah, I didn't want to risk losing the fight. Let's see if I remember Kenzie Koopa's stats correctly. 40 HP, 3 attack power, 1 defense power? Uh, Something like that for attack and defense? I think he has 60 HP. I could be wrong, though. The attack and defense power sounds right? Probably. Actually, just because of the size, it might be, uh... Um... Okay, I'm not gonna switch to... Ooh, actually, I may want to go find some upgrade blocks, because I want to upgrade Bo. Because Bo has a really powerful... full fan... Like, her smacks get even better as time goes on. So I wish I want to explore a bit more in the dungeon in this area, because... To find uh, I'm more sorry, I legit just blanked on what I was trying to What was I talking about? You were talking about Kenzie Koopa's stats. Oh, that's right, uh... Actually, I can legit just look at some while you're getting upgrade blocks. Yeah, because I want to get upgrade blocks. Uh, He has six defense because his when he is flipped his defense is half to three. Okay, so I already got that upgrade block. Build a We were both long on the HP, actually. 70. Oh, yeah. We're close, though. True. Close as my was. Uh, 20 HP, 10 attack power, 6 defense power. In normal Koopa fashion, the defense power can be half when they, uh... Okay, I know where the two of the three that I need left are, because I think, yeah, I need four more upgrade blocks, and I know where these two... One's gonna be in Shiver Mountain. Yeah. I don't, I think there's only one, though, in Shiver Burn City itself, because I think the rest of them are down the one, the Is there one in, um... Uh, what are the blocks called? Upgrade blocks? Yes. Look it up for you so you can... Oh, there it is. Pretty sure that's one of the ones I need, too. Oh, rugged, dry, dry desert, dry, dry blue. Actually, I think I... On... I think I may have found all the upgrade blocks, because I know we're... Actually, no. No, I'm still missing one, then. Because I know where got, another one is. That after chapter six, you got one in Toad Town Tunnels, which you just got. That's there's one in Toad Town Tunnels in the pipe area that leads to Shipper City. I just, you haven't gotten that yet. You haven't been able to get down, right? Um, most likely not. 
have you haven't gone to, you definitely haven't gone to one on Sugar Mountain yet. Oh, that is true. Okay, so I have gotten them all because there's the one on Shiver Mountain. Yeah, okay, then I have gotten them all because Bombette can get the one. But you said you're missing three. Yeah, but I, I know where one of them is, I believe. I'll list them to you Mount Rugged, Dry Dry Desert, Dry Dry Ruin, Town Tunnels, Tabba Blubba's Castle, Hill Town Tunnels, Shy Guys Toy Box, Jada Jungle, Jada, Jada, J Jump. Mount Lava Lava, Mount Lava Lava, Toe Town, Town Tunnels, Flowerfields, Flowerfields, Toe Town Tunnels, Vermont. They're in order as you can get them. Hold on. How many partners are there? There are... One, Mario? two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight total party members in the game. This is incomplete. Plus, you can't do ultra upgrades for every partner. No, you can. This is incomplete then. This is probably what I meant by Toad Town Tunnels. Because I now have them all, because there's one near Shiverburn City, like the one that's through the path to Shiverburn and Toad Town Tunnels, and then there's the one on Shiver Mountain. So yeah, I've gotten them all. Okay, it is complete, I just can't count. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna use Watt or Go for this boss fight because I think she's most effective. Hey, I was actually useful. <laughs> okay, we're gonna save here. At least keep. At least we can guarantee I'll be useful. In case. Yeah. For yeah. Mario, I actually had to look it up. The parts, even if I don't know the puzzle solution off the top of my head, and I can usually help figure it out just from guessing. Dude, why would I pay you a hundred coins? Would you have to buy them anyways, even if you pay a hundred coins? No. I don't think so. What do you say? You've always done the hundred coins. Expect that to happen. Happen. Oh. Bo got hit. Your partners can't die in this game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know, but they get stunned. It's not particularly a lovely thing. You know what? Actually, I can uh, I can actually use Lullaby on him. I'm gonna see if it works. The guy that I looked up said that was a recommended strategy against Kenzie. <laughs> Get it? Yeah. Uh, oh, oh nice. This is what happens when I'm looking I'm about 3.30 in the morning. Actually, but Tommy, how you can deal with crap loads as both Mario and uh, Bow, Bow, Bow. Don't ever have to fight can't see, but you can go to the area that has to fight more people the village.
sure to block the entrance to Toetown Tunnel. Yeah, but the thing is, he's blocking the way for, uh, for Colorado to go home. Why are you getting me why again? Because he's an ass. I mean, first of all, the partners, name a group of that isn't. Okay. I just remembered. Next turn, we get to have the fake out Koopa Brothers fight. For that. That's what, halfway through chapter 8, where you think they're going to fight the Koopa Brothers, and then Koopa Trooper just appears on the air and takes their bus for you? Yeah. Like, thank you, Koopa Trooper. Oh, you thought I was helping you? No, I'm only here to try and kick your butt. That's because he doesn't want to let anybody else take Mario down. That's after seven chapters of getting his butt handed to him by Mario. I mean, he only fights you in the odd chapters. Okay, so that's only... He fights you five mm. times in the entire game. Actually, no, he fights you six times. You, you fight him in Prologue. Well, one. You fight him in Chapter 1. You fight him in, uh... You fight him in Chapter... 3... You fight him in Chapter 5. He swims all the way to Lava Lava, I Lava Lava Island and then swims all the way back. And then you fight him in Chapter 7. Then you fight him in Chapter 8. Yep. So basically the Prologue and Chapter 8 are both, like, kind of the intertwined things. You fight him in the Prologue to introduce him and then you kill him in Chapter 8. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm actually gonna see if uh, my best bud here has any more upgrades. What would have oh, been like cool? What would have been cool for them to do in Thousand Year Door? Shadow Queen will to help you defeat the Shadow Queen and then take Peach for his own, or try to take Peach for. That'd be normal about the pressure. Oh, I'll help you save the world, but I want to take Peach for my own. Right? Yeah. I mean, you basically did try to do that in Bowser's Inside Story. Huh? No, there's no try. He failed to do it. Rather than like Mess with the Mario. Unless you want your plan to fail epically. But that's an always Bowser. Is that the way to show the city? Yeah, that is, but I forgot. We have to go talk to Merlin. Ford's I... locked? Yeah. The hammer at the door because you forgot you need to talk to Marla. So it's pretty much gonna be you'll start chapter 7 and then you'll end there by heading to Shiver City, Shiver Mountain, and Shiver Bird City. Ninji! Streams away. Where's my Where book change stuff? Bash? Oh, it costs four PP, so I basically have to sacrifice my uh. Are you lucky? <laughs> really, yeah, my zap tap badge. That's not useless for the most part outside of. Okay. 
Uh, I realized I asked that right as you're going down. Let's go to Shepherd. Okay, here's the second to last upgrade block. Thank you, you'll do that at the end of the stream. See a star piece of bad count. So useless to get the last update block. Chapter 7 the Star Spirit on Ice. We've back in sectors. Alright, save block. 